Good evening, everybody. Jason here from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, streaming on Treaty 7 land, home of the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Sutina Nation, and the Stony Nakoda Nation, along with the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Welcome to Raid the Arcade, New Game Plus. This is a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games and heal kids? Of course you do. Go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers. It all go towards your local children's hospital. And then you get to play games for 24 hours on November 4th. Over $11 million was raised in 2022 for children's hospitals across Canada and the U.S. And it was raised by gamers just like you. I'm playing games help raise money and awareness for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary that helps over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. I've been part of x for 11 years now, and it's a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. And you can donate in the links below or in the pinned posts on my Twitter and Facebook pages. In 2022, over $124,000 was raised for the Alberta Children's Hospital through Extra Life, and it was all done by gamers across Southern Alberta and all over the world. You can also join in on the fun and help out because kids can't wait. So, if you'd like to know more about Extra Life, or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Okay, so tonight, for tonight's installment of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus, uh, yeah, I was going to continue with part two of my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake that I started on Monday night, uh, but, uh, but with all, well, the announcements that came out, uh, this afternoon on Nintendo Direct, uh, tonight I am going to be sampling all the Game Boy games that are now available on Nintendo Switch! Uh, so yeah, the, not a good look uh, dropping my uh, dropping Final Fantasy just two nights into uh, into my new season. But hey, it's my stream, and I'll cry if I want to. So let's just dive right on in. So yeah, this is just uh, so yeah. This was a big surprise. This was a really big surprise uh, that Nintendo dropped uh, this afternoon. Uh, now, if you have Nintendo Switch Online, you could play Game Boy, get a selection of Game Boy games, and they promise more are coming. And if you have the expansion pack, you can buy. You can also play Game Boy Advance games. So let's just dive right in with the Game Boy selection. Ah, that class up startup sound. Yeah, so these are the games uh, that, that are available here at launch uh, for, uh, for for the Game Boy selection uh, here with here with Nintendo Switch. Uh, here, let me see. Let's just uh, sort them by let's sort them by title. Okay, first of all, you got Alone in the Dark for Game Boy Color. Huh. Wow, that was a surprise. Uh, that one came out of nowhere. You also get Game Watch Gallery Three, Gargoyles Quest, Kirby's Dream Land. Of course, you gotta gotta throw in Kirby, the original Kirby game. Also, gotta do ah, you also include Legend of Zelda DX. Uh, I beat the original version of Link's Awakening. Oh, yeah. Metroid 2, Return of Samus. Excellent choice. Also, Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Uh, wonder why they didn't do the original Super Mario Land. I know it's a little bit janky by today's standards. Oh, and of course, you got to do Tetris, uh, the system, uh, the game that sold all those Game Boys. And they also threw in Wario Land 3 as as well. Yeah, so, so nine games now available right off the bat. So let's go in and... Yeah, let's play the game that started it all for a little bit. Uh, let's try to get in as many as I can over the next 60 minutes. Let's play some Tetris. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, one thing uh, one thing uh, that that they do have is that they do have... <coughs> Excuse me. And one thing that they do have is that they do have filters available. So, if you want the game to look to look like an original Game Boy in terms of its screen, you could do so. Oh yeah, so here it is. Oh yeah, dig that classic, uh, classic tinny Game Boy music and the classic puke green colors. <laughs> okay, let's just, let's just play a quick game of Tetris. And just dive right on in. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's right. Hard drop wasn't a thing in Tetris yet. I was actually just pressing up uh, just to see if I can make uh, make a brick fall instantly, but yeah, you can't do that yet in this in this version of Tetris. <laughs> Look, I'm only just gonna play a little bit, but I'm not I'm gonna try to do well, but I'm not gonna try to do long either. Okay, but anyway, when the Game Boy first came out in in November of 1989. 
And that's a Tetris, and man, do I feel old. Uh, one thing that I actually scammed my mom into getting me a free uh, Game Boy game. Well, free to me. Uh, what she said, it's that if I saved up so that I could afford to... Oh, oh yeah, I could do Rewind. You could do Rewind! Awesome! Okay, so anyway, uh, my mom made me a deal. If I had saved up enough to purchase the Game Boy entirely with my own money, she would get me a game for it. But I didn't tell her that the Game Boy came with Tetris. So when I saved up all the money and we found an electronic store that ha you know, had Game Boys available, uh, we went to, to the store that night, and I bought my Game Boy, and I asked uh, my mom uh, to buy me Super Mario Land. And so, that's when I let it out that the Game Boy came with the King of Tetris. So, regardless, she wasn't, she wasn't too thrilled, but a deal was a deal. So I walked out of the store where with with a new Game Boy system and two Game Boy games. <laughs> yep, she yep, she lived up on her end. Yep, she lived up to her her side of the deal, and it got me Super Mario Land. But along the way, my mom ended up ended up getting uh, getting addicted to Tetris as well. And actually, I still have uh, my, my original Game Boy, and it still works. Yeah, I gotta say that. Yeah, just put in some fresh batteries. Yeah, Nintendo made them to last. Actually, a couple of years ago, uh, since that I do social media uh, for the Extra Life Calgary Guild. Uh, the Game Boy's anniversary and Easter were on the same day that year. So what I did is that uh, I found my old Game Boy, put in some fresh batteries, and my copy of Tetris that I still have. Uh, I went to, to my local Safeway store, and I took a photograph of my Game Boy amongst the Cadbury cream eggs. And that served as our social media post for both Easter and the anniversary release of the original Game Boy. Yeah, I've actually got, uh, I've actually followed several Twitter accounts. Well, when I say several, I say uh, one or two uh, that keep track of various video game releases and anniversaries, so that way I can keep my eye open uh, for, for this kind of thing. This is a yeah. This is just so awesome. This this feels exactly exactly the same. It's just when Nintendo was making uh, their their classic consoles or minis, uh, depending on on how you call them. I was actually thinking, how could Nintendo make a Game Boy Classic Edition? I was originally thinking that maybe they could have said that they could release it as a smartphone app and along with a hardware phone case in order to simulate the appearance and feel of the Game Boy. Uh, even though that might be possible, like from a software point of view, I'm thinking it might not be a good idea from uh, from a from a software preservation point of view, since that well, who knows that they could decide to just to stop updating uh, the Game Boy Classic app, and, and who knows, a couple of uh, uh, iOS updates down the line, and Apple could render it useless. <laughs> Yeah, but this is but this is a, a definite, definitely a, a great alternative. Okay, here let me just see. I think that that's actually enough Tetris for now, so I am not actually going to. I could just re hit the reset button, but yeah, I'm not trying to create any game states or anything. Instead, let's try let's try playing another game here. In fact, I was actually just checking out the settings before. I never had a Game Boy Pocket or a Game Boy Color. But let's just uh, turn on the pocket one. Uh, yeah, even though even though I like all these old school games, there's only so much of the puke green colors that I can take. 
Uh, let's see. Let's try... Actually, I've never played Kirby's Dream Land. Let's play that. Played a couple of uh, Kirby games before when I was doing when I was doing uh, these uh, these charity streams, so I do have a I do have a basic idea of uh, what of, uh, what they're about. But I think it wasn't until later on in the series is when is when Kirby got, gained gained his abilities to to copy enemies by swallowing them. Whoops! <laughs> ah, not very good. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's right. Modern gaming? Quality of life convenience. Rewind. Ouch. Yeah, right down the gullet. doesn't do anything to him. And the quarterback is toast. Suck everything right, right down the gaping maw of Kirby. Nothing can stand in my way. <laughs> around here. Does, uh, does, I think his name is Wispy Woods. How many hits does he take? Woohoo! And the quarterback is toast! Let's switch over. Let's switch over to, to our next game uh, here. Uh, here at the uh, Game Boy Collection. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's uh, actually it's coming up. It's now 10:15 uh, here in Calgary. So you're watching me play new old Game Boy games as part of uh, Extra Life. Uh, there, yes, this is free for Extra Life, which is the 24-hour gaming marathon that benefits uh, the Children's Miracle Network. If you want to learn how to play games and heal kids, go to www.extra-life.org. Okay, let's see. Uh, and let's sample Metroid for a little bit. Oh, this looks and sounds exactly the same. Okay. Oh yeah, you get the more. Oh yeah, you get the morph ball right away. I, I totally forgot about that. Okay, uh, the poor, the the storyline of, of Metroid 2, it's that you're as Samus, you've gone to the Metroid homeworld but with the goal of exterminating them once and for all. There's 39 Metroids on this planet, and they all gotta go down. And of course, there's lots of other hostile wildlife on this planet that that wants to take you down as well. When, uh, when Metroid 2 uh, came out, I was actually really pleasantly surprised about, about how uh, they were able to, to, to accurately replicate uh, whoops, uh, the Metroid experience on the Game Boy of all places. Tell you this is definitely uh, this is definitely old school gaming. Like there's no mini map, uh, no save points except for once you beat yourself. Yeah, no hold in your hand. Yeah, back in the old school days of gaming, where you needed a, like a guidebook in order to, to make your way through the game, or your subscription to Nintendo Power Magazine. I have no idea where, where 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 I'm going. Like the 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 muscle memory only goes as far as the as the, as the controls. <laughs> Not where to go. time of how they've evolved into these deadly new forms. Whoop. Alright, one down! Ooh, it shed its mottled carapace. Uh, yes, that's right, I remember now. Uh... The more Metroids you destroy, the more the map opens up. It's gradually, uh, gradually teaching you that you have to explore every nook and cranny. Who knows what hidden stuff could, could be could be lying around and beneficial for your for your extermination mission. 
Yeah, I was also uh, quite surprised when Nintendo announced uh, today, uh, when they also announced uh, the release of Metroid Prime Remastered. Yeah, so after all these years of waiting, yep, they finally did it. Yep, a remastered HD version of the original Metroid Prime is available on the Switch. In fact, it's available today if you want to, in fact, it's available right now if you want to download it. But I'm thinking I might actually well, wait for a physical copy instead. Yeah, all my other copies of, of Metroid are either on cartridge or disc, so I think I'll I'll keep it going. Okay, let's see if I can find the next Metroid and let's see here. Alright, save point. Okay, let's see if I can find Metroid number two, and then load up another game of the collection. Yeah, speaking of Nintendo Power, uh, I subscribed to Nintendo Power after I got uh, my Game Boy. And I kept my subscription going like well into like well well into the GameCube era. So it's just that what I did eventually call uh, Nintendo to cancel my subscription, and and they took a look, look at my at my subscription information. They noticed I've been subscribing for so long. Like the like the customer service person I was talking to said, "Well, you're almost you're practically a charter subscriber. You've been with us for so long." Well, just that I, I, I actually just stopped reading the magazine. Almost felt like as if I was just subscribing out of obligation. I feel the same way whenever I click on, on follow a Twitter account that I no longer want to read or, or YouTube channels I no longer want to watch. Oh, ah! The ground is literally lava. hot stuff. Big long corridor, big long empty straight corridor. It's got to be a sign of trouble. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Model carapace. That's a sign that, that there could be another Metroid nearby. <laughs> but I don't have the bomb, so. Oh, that that's blocking my way. Let's head, let's head head back on up. I'll bet that. I'll bet there is something out that that I missed up here.
telling you, saving is uh, such a... I always say, that even, even though I know I'm not, I'm not going to be playing much afterwards. Okay, this must be good. Five missiles gets the job done. Alright, got the bombs! If I can make my way back all the way up and see if I can find find a Metroid that's lurking around here. Find a nice hidden deep secret area. Nice energy tank, I'll take that. Yes, the Metroids are vulnerable to gold. Yeah, that'll come in handy. Oh yeah, back in this series, uh, you want to hear out only two guns, the Wave Beam and the Ice Beam. You have to be picky about which one that which one you picked up. Okay, really can't uh, can't go far in there as well. <laughs> okay, it's coming up uh, to 10:30 uh, here in Calgary, uh, so I'm thinking what I'll do. It's that I'll just I'll just hit reset and head back to the back to the game selection. So yeah, so what briefly you know, what I saw so far, like here with uh, here with, uh, good old Tetris and with uh, Metroid 2, it looks like yeah, it looks like that Nintendo has really uh, pulled off. Uh, pulled off uh, the emulation here with the uh, here with the switch online right and of course if you wanted to you can make your display good old puke green but I, I think that after all these years I'm entitled just to give my eyes a break from that so I'll use the uh, the game so I think I'll use the game boy pocket scheme uh, from uh, from now on okay so it's 10 30 uh, here in Calgary so it looks like this is actually a good time for a station break So, you're watching me play Game Boy games here on Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. This is a stream for Extra Life, a 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. If you want to play games and heal kids, go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers. They all go towards your local children's hospital. And then you get to play games for 24 hours on November 4th. Or it can be whatever day that you want. You can play whenever you like as long as you like, whatever you like, with whomever you like, wherever you like, it's all good because every dollar that you fundraise for Extra Life goes toward your local children's hospital so they can continue their life-saving work all year round. Over $11 million was raised in 2022 for children's hospitals across Canada and U.S. and was raised by gamers just like you. 
I'm playing games to help raise money and awareness for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary that helps over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. I've been part of Extra Life for 11 years now, and it's a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good, and you can donate in the links below or on the pinned posts on my Twitter and Facebook pages. In 2022, over $124,000 was raised for the Alberta Children's Hospital through Extra Life. And it was all done by gamers across southern Alberta and all over the world. You could also join in the fun and help out because kids can't wait. So if you'd like to learn more about Extra Life or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Or if you'd like to support me in my fundraising, I just dropped a link in Twitch chat. Every dollar helps, every share counts. Uh, fundraising continues all year round. It goes right up to bid, where it goes right up to, to the big day on November 4th. So every little thing helps. I really do a lot of good. Uh, well, I really do a lot of good. It's such a great cause, and I'm, uh, I'm glad to be part of it for so long, and just to help out every which way that I can. And now, let's get right back into the action here on Read the Arcade New Game Plus with Nintendo's selection of classic Game Boy games. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, so now that I'm halfway through uh, my time for tonight, let's, let's jump over into the Game Boy Advance. Ah, uh, that class-up startup sound. Okay, so so right off the bat, one, two, uh, so the Game Boy Advance uh, service actually comes with six games here. Uh, looks like a Japanese-only release called Kuru Kuru Kuren. Uh, yeah, looks like according to the trailer, you're maneuvering a spinning pipe through a maze. Also comes with Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap, uh, Mary and Luigi Superstar Saga. I never actually played any of the games in the Mary and Luigi series. Yeah, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Yeah, of course, gotta have Mario Kart. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is uh, this is one of the biggies in my in my opinion. Super Mario Advance Four, Super Mario Brothers Three, is because one of the things that they've added to this game are all the courses that were only available via the e-readers. Yeah, if in case you didn't know, the e-reader was an add-on uh, that Nintendo produced uh, for the Game Boy Advance uh, that lets you uh, that you slide cardboard playing cards because they had barcodes on them and an unlocked content in compatible games. So, so yeah, it looks like all the tracks, all the all the courses <coughs> are now available here because some of the cards were not available in North America, but the code was there in the game. Oh, and one of my personal favorites, WarioWare Inc. Uh, let's play WarioWare. Uh, just another day busily picking my nose. Game sales are way up. Here's why. Is it that cool? Wario as a character really started coming into his own with the well, with the Wario Wear series. Okay, I've got a game company, but how do I make them? Yeah, just getting rid of the menu there. Yeah, okay. Hey, God, I don't call out my friends. Hello. Oh, Let's just uh, dive right on in. Yeah, but then that, that's the whole point with WarioWare games. Yep. Still just gotta enter in, enter in my name as I always do. J O U R N. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's not there's practically no story to speak of in the WarioWare games. You just gotta just dive right on in. Looks like this is all unskippable, though. And of course, you're only given a fraction of a second in order to figure out what it is you're supposed to do. Muscle memory's all coming back. And the action just keeps getting faster and faster and faster. Top warrior for making rip-off games. Oh yeah, secret collect. Okay, so the name of the game is sparring. It means you gotta hit the speed bag at just the right time to send it all the way to the moon. Potato. Hey, next it's Jimmy. Okay, one thing, one thing that I really liked about the WarriorWare games and when they first came out, just that when you take on Ninevolt and his micro games, uh, they're all remixes of Nintendo classics. Let's see, I wonder... I don't think I can I can get to them that quickly, but, uh, but let's try. This ain't a speed run, though. Yep, just sampling all the, game, all the new old Game Boy games that are now available to Switch owners. So, you want to play my games, huh, you jive turkey? You sure? Yeah, Disco will never die. Oh yeah, this game definitely came out 20 years ago. There you are, designing games for flip phones. Uh, that the level of creativity uh, that the WarioWare designers has had to do, like to figure out like how to do uh, an entire video game in just a couple seconds. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, ouch. Okay, I'm gonna rewind. I wonder if Ski Free was the, was the inspiration for that one. Shoot! Oh, that one didn't work. Let's try that again. Oh, limp. Aw, oh, that one didn't work. Okay, I've still got lots of battery. Let's keep going. Oh, ouch, it beat me! Okay, boss stage. Prototype version of Punch Out right there. <laughs> Smooth groove there, brother. On to the next three, man. Yeah, no. No, oh, yeah, here it is, Nine Volt, General Nintendo. <laughs> I'm Nine Volt, the old school grade schooler. I've got a bad mix of tunes. Classic Nintendo vids for you. I'll spin the tunes. You clear 15 of my games. Jern, these bits of history are the best. Yeah, I'm with you there, brother. You gotta acknowledge you gotta acknowledge the game and people that that uh, uh, that acknowledge and preserve the classics. Donkey Kong, dodge the barrels! Whoops. Gotcha! Squish the Goomba! Yeah, still can't shoot the dog in this version, though. Fight. Uh oh, that didn't work. Shot down. Bloom got shot down. Rather timely considering current events. Gyrobite! Paint the walls with dead flies. Okay, that sounds creepy. 
Well, even they even recreated a virtual boy game. Play ball! Oh, okay, that didn't work. I'm calling my shot! That one's going straight into the lights! Left field! Oh! Right field! Boom! <laughs> this is in the Game Boy Advance SP is here! Pick one up today! Oh, no, this is a blink mad. Actually, my first day, uh, actually, my Game Boy Advance, it was a Game Boy Advance SP. I actually went around uh, several stores in Calgary once it came out looking for one, and lo and behold, I lucked out and I found one at the old Doppler computer game store that was near Chinook Center. And lo and behold, they had one. So, so yeah, I, I really lucked out that time. <laughs> Okay, so it's 10.46 here in Calgary, so you're watching me play uh, various old Game Boy games. Uh, this is a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games and heal kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. Okay, okay, in any case then, let's, uh, let's actually, let's, uh, no, I don't, don't want to play, uh, play that one right now. Let's see, let's just actually, <clears throat> let's see, uh, actually, I don't know, I don't know if that battery back games actually save, save or anything, but in any case, Let's uh, let's take a look at another game uh, here in the series. Yeah, let's play let's play good old fashioned Mario Kart Super Circuit. I wonder if you can do ghost exchanges online. Oh well. Yeah, let's just do a nice casual 50cc race. Yeah, random character. Yeah, let's just dive, let's just dive right in. Let's not pay, pay any attention to the details. Uh, but I never owned uh, Mario Kart uh, Super Circuit. Oh, that's oh, that's right. You can't, uh, yeah, you can't uh, build up. Yeah, you can't uh, build up turbo by drifting in this game. Again, getting spoiled by quality of life increases in, by getting spoiled by quality of life changes in later games in the series. Oh, by the way, Mario Kart fans, if if you're interested. Let's see, last weekend on Saturday Night Live, uh, Pedro Pascal was hosting the show, and uh, because uh, he's on The Last of Us, a film in Calgary, uh, but one thing that I did was a spoof of, of another video game that's being adapted for television, and it was Mario Kart. Right, so, uh, right, so check it out, uh, they have Pedro Pascal playing Mario in a grim dark. Last of Us style version of Mario Kart, and it was actually really, really funny. Uh, the version that that Saturday Night Live posted on YouTube, though, it is geoblocked. I think you have to be inside the United States in order to see it, but but there are ways around that sort of thing. But you didn't hear it from me.
Actually, when I was taking my first uh, cross-country train trip across Canada, I was riding via rail from Vancouver to Toronto, and my first night there for on the train for dinner, I got seated with a father and a son, and a son had a Game Boy Advance, and he, was, and he said he was playing Mario Kart. Right, so, so I told him I played the Super Nintendo original, and I asked, and, and I asked him, hey, does it still have the the two-player battle mode where you gotta pop everybody's balloons? And he said, sure does. <laughs> Did I hate? You cannot escape. Later game quality of life thinking is starting at to, to impede my controls, huh? You don't get another boost speed when hitting a jump because you can't do a trick when hitting the jumps in this old game. <laughs> after me. Ah, Peach is right behind me. Yeah, still in a comfortable lead. View is great all the way up front. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Gotta get you, you used to the drift mechanics. Ouch. It seems like the coins in Mario Kart have always seemed rather arbitrary or useless. Now, now granted, it's been a long time, and I didn't read any of the any of the included instructions of, uh, before uh, before playing tonight. But but but, uh, but sometimes it seems, it seems like all the coins in Mario Kart. It seems like that they're just there. I mean, if you go over the side, or, or if you go uh, into the drink or the lava, like the keto will still uh, pull you up uh, back onto the back of the track, regardless if you have any coins or not. rewind a bit. Oh, third place by a hair.
Oh man, a tenth of a second. Okay, now we are on button turf. Or the Descartes has seemed to handle better on these on these cobblestone racetracks. <laughs> So I got a first time chatter. Oh, hi there, Jarrett1991. What's this? The Mario Kart circuit? Only knows if the stomach should apply, slams it down. I accept your challenge. Hey, welcome to the stream. I was just about to wrap things up in a couple of minutes. Uh, have you heard about Extra Life? Oh, perfect timing as well. Just uh, just wrapped up the circuit. Oh, Jarrett1991 well, says hello, hello. I have. Oh, great. Uh, have you, do you take part in Extra Life yourself? Oh, thanks for the follow. Okay, C rank. Uh, not bad. Not not great either, but uh, but still good. Good for not playing this game in a long time and just diving right on in. Oh, he says that you have have taken part in next life. Okay, well that's awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, what hospital do you uh, fundraise for? Yeah, as I said earlier, I'm in Calgary, Alberta, so I'm fundraising up for the Alberta Children's Hospital here in Calgary. Okay, Jared says you play for the Norton Children's Hospital. Uh, where is that one located? I remember hearing the name before, but I can't remember where it is. Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Uh, yeah, I remember hearing about uh, hearing about uh, some place in Louisville a while back. Don't know if it's still open or if it's still around. But I but there was a ninja bar in in Louisville where where you can actually like drink sake and and throw ninja stars. Uh, like that's a deadly combination. But I don't know if it's still open. But yeah, that's really the only thing I know about Louisville. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so so Jared, yeah, just a little brief introduction. So hi again, I'm Jason. Uh, I'm playing uh, for to raise money for X Y for the Alberta Children's Hospital uh, here in Calgary. Uh, right now, uh, I'm streaming uh, three nights a week, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, right now, uh -huh, yeah, it's not like wild and awesome stuff. Oh yeah, Ninja Bar. I mean, it's ninjas and a bar. We really, really can't go wrong with that. As I said, it was a long. I heard about it a long time ago. I can't even remember what it was called, or even if it's still open. But anyway, right? Yep, that's right. Yeah, so anyway, so so my bot just dropped a link there, there for my uh, extra life uh, page, uh, where I'm playing games, all raise money for the Alberta Children's Hospital. I'm streaming uh, three nights a week, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, uh, for an hour a night at uh, 10 p.m. Mountain Time. 
let's see. Uh, last year, I was taking part in the in the 100 Days of Gaming Challenge, where where you try to play something, anything, for at least an hour a night, every night, up to Extra Life Game Day, and and I call it uh, that's right, and I call it Raid the Arcade. It's because that my focus was on retro games. I've actually got, got quite a vast collection. Uh, but right now I'm doing what I call New Game Plus. Because I, back in November, I started playing The Last of Us. It's because that when I got my PS4 uh, as a Black Friday gift for myself a couple of years ago, it came with a copy of The Last of Us Remastered. But I never cracked it open. But uh, because since the Last of Us TV show was filmed here, here and around Calgary, I wanted to try to beat the game uh, before the show started. And that's what I did. Uh, last week, I, I actually finally completed The Last of Us and the Left Behind DLC. Right, so, so now I'm all set for, uh, for, for whatever the show may throw at me in the rest of the first season. Right, but, but now I'm starting a second, like, I guess you could say season of my Raid the Arcade streams. Uh, Monday night, I started playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, and I was going to play it again tonight, uh, but Nintendo... Oh, awesome play. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, is that The Last of Us? Oh, yeah, it's an awesome show. Okay, but anyway, but yeah, so Monday night, I started playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I was going to play it again tonight, but Nintendo had to announce all these all these new Game Boy games uh, that are now available for, for, for Switch users. So, yeah, I'll bet it's a bad look that I had to drop my main game, like, just two nights into my next season. Uh, but, but one thing that I was doing as part of my streams, it's that I tried to make the game that I played that night, like, tie in to current events that was happening. Like, let's say, if it was a big game anniversary, if I had that game, I'd play it. If a new game in a long-running series was announced that day, I'd play an earlier game in the series. Uh, sometimes some new releases came out. If it was a famous game creator's birthday, or if a well-known game designer had passed away, uh, I'd see, see if I could play a game that they work on that night. So that's what I was doing last year as part of my 100 days of gaming. Uh, but now but now that The Last of Us is finished, uh, I might gameplay of that. Uh, right now I'm going to try and complete Final Fantasy VII Remake. Because now that the now that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is on the horizon, I want to get that done. Okay, so it is 11:03 uh, here in Calgary, so this is actually a good uh, good time to actually wrap things up for the evening. Uh, so, as I was saying, uh, this was another installation of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus, where I was playing a selection of all the new Game Boy games that are now available for Nintendo Switch as of today. This was a stream for Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games and heal kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers that all go towards your local children's hospital. And then you get to play games for 24 hours on November 4th. Over $11 million was raised in 2022 for children's hospitals across Canada and the U.S. and is raised by gamers just like you. I'm playing games to help raise money and awareness for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary that helps over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. I've been part of Extra Life for 11 years now, and it's a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. And you can donate in the links below or in the pinned posts on my Twitter and Facebook pages. In 2022, over $124,000 was raised for the Alberta Children's Hospital through Extra Life. That was done by gamers all across Southern Alberta and all over the world. You can also join in the fun and help out because kids can't wait. So if you'd like to know more about Extra Life or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. And well, that, that's, that wraps up tonight's installment of Raid the Arcade New Game Plus. I'll be back uh, Friday night at 10 p.m. Mountain Time, and then I promise I will continue my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Jarrett1991, and thanks, uh, thanks uh, for dropping by, a fellow Extra Lifer, uh, representing, uh, representing the Children's Hospital in Louisville, Kentucky. And thanks again for everybody uh, else uh, for, for tuning in and spreading the word and just, uh, just, here, to, and just here just to play games and chat about Extra Life and just help to help this great cause grow even more. Thanks again, and thanks again. Tune in next time. And remember, kids can't wait. Good night, everybody.